Hello everybody, this is GenJeft here yet again with the new Kerbal Space Program version 0 0.16. Today we're actually going to get something into space so we can see the space EVA and I have fixed it so the engines are not going to be outrageously stupidly loud. So I'm going to save you guys the Pro the uh, boredom of watching me build a new ship for this. It's a giant engine! So I'm going to stop the recording now and carry it w when I get into space, unless something ex explodes or interesting happens. See you a little bit. Hello everybody, and we're back with the first space EVA for the Kerbins. I don't actually know how to kind of kick these ladder. Oh! That's how that works. Nifty. Hmm. That's how the ladders work. Disconnected. Uh oh. Why is the controls not coming out? Stop orbital. There we go. Apparently, he's got an SAS, much like the ship does. So I need to figure out how to turn this guy around, because I actually don't know what the controls are. Whoa! Hey, a bit of an achievement to control this guy. Woohoo! So he automatically orients to whatever direction you're looking in. Not bad. Easy enough to control. Very nifty, really. Let's look around our ship here. I don't see a fuel gauge or anything, so I don't know if this is a limited time thing you can do with a limited amount of fuel, or there's actual an amount of fuel involved. What happens if I run into the ship? Push it! Not much appears to happen. <laughs> Quite interesting. There's no sound. I don't know if there's supposed to be sound or something, but there's no sound. So this is an entirely silence, as far as I can tell. Yeah, it's entirely silent. Oh, let's not keep going further away. Let's get back to that ship. But it's really easy to control. The Kerbal, the Kerbal looks in any direction that you happen to be pointing the camera at. Except down, up and down. Heading back towards the crew hatch. Ooh, I might want to slow down a little bit. Ooh. 
Now it doesn't appear that he could grab onto the ship and then push it around with his little tiny thrusters, not that it'd do much. But that'd be a handy way to, like, build bigger ships when the, they put in docking. Ah, my ladder's on this side now here. Now the tough part, the interesting part will be, what is it like to try to reattach myself to the ship? Let's see here. And F. Grab. Okay. Space. Let's go. F. Grabs. Space. Let's go. Bring the controls back out. Bring the controls back out. Hello? Bring the controls back. Fine. Whatever. He doesn't want to bring the controls back out. What happens if I retract... I can't retract the ladder while on it. That's probably a good safety measure. So now that we're back onto the ship, how to get back in is fairly simple. Crew hatch. You have the crew menu pop up right there. Go up to it. And go up to it. Come on, stay there. F to board. And you're back onto the ship again. Click on that. You go back into EVA climb up and down the ladder and everything. Go back up. F to board. Really, really intuitive. Hmm. Right, more right-click options. It gives you information on the engine. Uh, not really all that many more options. In the meantime, do another EVA, let go of the ship, as his face is up against it. Why won't he bring his, uh... Whoop, there we go. Weehee! Spinning in circles! Stop spinning! Stop spinning! Oh, for Pete's sake. Very intuitive and very easy to use. Uh-oh. Slow down. A bit awkward. But it works. Now this gives you options to explore places like the moon, because now we can have the Kerbals get out. Oh, wait a minute. It's a light! Oh, that is just awesome, the way that works. Whoops, I don't want to go quite like that. I'll shine a light on the ship. Woohoo! The only disappointing thing to me is you can't actually have the Kerbal move his head around. I'm not sure if they could with this helmet anyway. But this is nifty. The shadows and the lighting is great. The system is fun very functional. And easy to use. It's just still the WSAD keys. With uh, using left shift and left con control to control the altitude that you're going up and down at. really handy. But now, in the meantime, let's grab this thing again. F. Now he's on it upside down. <laughs> it doesn't seem to matter, though. F to board. And now we're going to deorbit. Shut the SAS off. And that is pretty much the end of this video, really because that's what I want to do, is show that, and then we can start beginning the projects, the bigger projects like moon landing and exploration, when the more, when the mo uh, all the mods are updated to the new system. But the ladders are easy enough to work, everything's easy enough to work. Zoom back in. All you do is you right click, it appears that once they're extended you can't bring them back down or back up. 
that's a bit of a small issue, I think. Because I can't right click on them again. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, I can't right click them again, so I can't have them retract. Oh well, small issue. No biggie. And with that, <coughs> I'm going to end this video. I'll be landing this ship because it actually doesn't have enough fuel to go anywhere. Hope everyone's enjoying. Have fun. And do some EVAs. I'm just curious. Let's see. Ha <laughs> ha! I haven't even landed yet and I can still crawl outside of it. Whether it's a good idea or not, it's probably not. That's kind of funny. Haven't even landed yet. Still crawling on the outside of the pod. The Kerbals can swim. <laughs> oh, that's great. They can swim. Uh, he's not getting back into his craft, though. Because it tipped over when he left. No! He's stuck. It's funny, he does a little swimming stroke. Woohoo! Have fun, everyone!